What's up guys, Mighty Lubu here, back with some more Shadowverse. Now guys, thank you so much for hitting that like button and subscribing, it really helps out the channel a lot. And today we're covering the aggro deck from Forest. Uh, really exciting deck to play if you guys are having a rough time dealing with the Giant Chimera, which is really popular from Runecraft. Uh, also, uh, Portocraft is pretty popular, uh, specifically Artifacts. Artifacts are pretty strong, very powerful, uh, very strong late game. And an aggressive style deck like this, it just has a really strong advantage against them. Since you're, you have a much stronger early game, or you have much more early game than they do, you're able to stump out your opponents a little more you know, before they do their insane card combinations. So yeah, for the new card for aggro, we have uh, the Grasshopper. And basically what the Grasshopper did for Forcecraft is that it makes it so that you can combo it and get the Fairy Driver. Now that's really powerful. It basically gives you access to, you know, your burst damage. So, you know, in this hand, I don't have a Grasshopper, but if I combo the Fairies into it, I can get the Fairy Driver, so I can do massive burst damage. Of course, we got the Starry Elf. Having Wood of Brambles is extremely powerful. But at this point, I can just go face since I didn't notice he's an artifact player. If he was a puppet, he might be able to, you know, just remove my board. Just have a little more pressure. But he doesn't. He does have this card. But we put in enough damage that we have what? Imperial in the hand. We have uh, the Beetle Warrior. So yeah, we have this. Five mana. And we have the Beetle Warrior. So we do have burst damage in the hand. And we have the Fairy Knight. So at this point, we could just evolve and hit the face. Fairies, don't push face is the place. So yeah, even though he has, look right here, boom, Deus Ex Machina, an extremely powerful card. It's it's just too late. It really doesn't matter what kind of insane combo he has in the late game if he get, never really gets there. So here we, it's GG. Ambush is so good. Buzzing, flitting inside. It's time to make those fairies useful. Make yourself useful. Hey, let's play. Make yourself useful. I hear And that's the GG. So extremely powerful start that you can have playing aggro deck since they always uh, have a really low curb, and the highest uh, play point that you have is uh, five, which is your jungle warden or your imperial. Although Jungle Ward is a pretty good tech card, I'm not sure uh, if it's necessary, but it's, it's pretty useful to have. There are certain situations where you're gonna wish you're gonna have an 8 damage uh, burst from your hand, which is nice to have. Especially that you, since you don't need uh, fairies, you could just play Jungle Warden at 10, he does 8 damage without you needing uh, multiple cards. So this is against Runecraft, and we all know we all know that Giant Chimera is insane, uh, especially with the addition of the new legendary four drop. Gets so much spell boost. So here I didn't trade. I was thinking, okay, Magic Missile, but if he doesn't have a one drop, then it's not the end of it. Uh, but he then he turned out to have it. Here we could just Air Bomb Barrage, but we do the Insect Lord, so we don't really need to do it. Uh, especially since next turn, I'm looking at my hand and I'm going, whoa, I could just go Fairy Fairy into Elf Song, so we don't really need to do uh, Air Bomb Barrage. Uh, it's nice to have uh, be able to poke for 2 damage as well. Let's play, buddy. Uh, here we go. Just hit him in the face, rush him down. So yeah, he just has to answer my word constantly. And that's one of the really good things about Forcecraft when you're playing aggro, is that you want to play more uh, cards than your opponent so that uh, they just can't deal with all. Especially the fairies since they, they, you can generate so many fairies that they're always a big threat. Uh, especially with, with Elf Song, so good. So he has a nice follower there, but we could ignore it, hit the face, 
it's gonna be irrelevant since uh, most heavily uh, heavy combo cards are pretty much irrelevant against aggro decks. Our goal is to burst them down, and at this point, we do have massive damage for this. We have seven, which is pretty good. And then he has to deal with the entire board again. So if we draw a Fairy Driver, we win. Also Beetle Warrior. He does have the AoE, but can he deal with the last follower? He does not. So yeah, that's just one way to win against these style decks. So overall, you know, just aggro deck is so good at rushing down your opponent. And uh, last but not least, let's just showcase another way where we rush down our opponent and just gonna showcasing mostly uh, what you want to do again when you're playing an aggressive deck like this. Usually your weakness is always gonna be if AoE is played, like if your opponent is constantly wiping your board and they play healing or they play ward. If they're a very defensive deck who's specifically built to counter yours, then of course you're gonna have a really bad time there, but overall you have a pretty solid chance against any deck. Alright, so here we go, we got the Water Fairy. Card is so good. Especially since you know, she replaces herself, so. And she gives you a Fairy, which is like, thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, so here we have Air Bomb Barrage. And we can play the Weed Man. I think this is why I like this <laughs> this uh, match that I had here. We finally get to play the Weed Man. Power up our <laughs> Fairy here. And we do have the Fairy Fairy into Elf Song. This card combination, so. It just showcases how strong this card is. Especially for aggro players, right? Look at this, he's already at 10. Turn 4, we have Imperial in the hand. So yeah, this is exactly what you do to combo decks or any kind of really slow grindy decks. You can really burst them down and punish them for playing such slow cards. Here we go, he evolves. But he can't get rid of the entire board. Even I don't know. Like even if he had one pop up there, it wouldn't be enough. So, either way, we just need one more. Wait, no. At this point, no. Since he left it alive, it's enough damage with the Imperium. But that's a GG. He gets to trade. Take more puppets. Unless he had Ward here. No, even if he had Ward, we can play Fairy Evolve into Elf Song. Wait, no, Fairy, 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 Elf Song, and Evolve, yeah. But that's the GG. But uh, it's just a sh quick showcase there. Um, it's just basically rushing your opponent down and making sure that you are really aggressive so that they can never play their strong combo cards. Oh wait, let's go under preview. Here we go. Here we can see the deck. We have uh, the new inclusion of the Grasshopper. So yeah, put a random follower X attack from your deck into your hand. X equal to the numbers of cards played. So this way you can always get uh, the Fairy Driver or the Jungle Warden. Since, you know, look at the attack of all your followers. It's two, it's two. So whenever you combo this car, you're always going to get the Fairy Driver or you're always going to get the Jungle Warden. Should you play the right amount of, of cards, of course. But most of the time you're going to want that Fairy Driver and the Grasshopper just helps you get it. Which is a pretty cool color combination. You usually could do it like on turn 6. So pretty good car. And if not, the Grasshopper could get you the, the Water Fairy, which is ammunition for the fairy driver so it's so much good synergy and uh, really low curve deck really inexpensive you can play without legendary so even if you don't have the insect lore and if you have multiple i would put no more than two two would be i mean three would be too much you don't really need removal that uh, that hard and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase of the aggro deck and uh, check you guys out later 
And good luck out there against those giant chimeras. And see you guys out later. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And yeah, see you guys next video. Peace. I'm out.